welcome Guy Brueggemann, who is the Art and Programming Supervisor at Dallas Love Field in Plano, Texas. Guy's going to explore the digital dilemma and help us figure out whether or not it works. Guy? Hi. Uh, good evening. Thanks. Yeah, we're going to go a little bit different direction, go a little more whimsical tonight. Um, so the virtual experience, does it work? Like many of us in the field, our sole purpose in life is customer engagement. We live and breathe for it. So what do you do when you have to WFH, Zoom, MS Teams, share your screen, forget to hit mute, or more importantly, even so, forget to unmute when you're trying to talk? Well, you scramble to create online digital content. Uh, this has always been on our radio, our radar for Love Field, um, but it just pushed it to look at this in a different way and look at this avenue a little bit more closely and bump it up to a priority rather than what it used to be. Uh, we'll get to it sooner or later. Next slide. So our inspiration was an old animated video that we saw from Washington International Airport explaining some type of shuttle that would move you from a uh, terminal out to the airfield. And it was kind of cool. So we were watching that. I think we saw it on, I think it was stuck at the airport. And so, as we mentioned earlier, we all knew the benefits of online digital content and the pandemic just pushed us to quick, us to, to quicker than we thought possible. We started out with a few artist videos, but it evolved into even more um, than just those videos. Soon we were creating how-to videos, interactive videos, online exhibitions, more than just a static photo on a website that we still currently do. The benefits of this is long-term exposure. Once it's out in the World Wide Web, it has a chance to survive forever. And for those of you with kids, like my soon-to-be 13-year-old, he consumes videos like I do IPAs with an unhealthy, voracious, voracious appetite. Next slide. So what do we have to lose? So with all that said, let's hit the video and hope that it works. Hi, I'm Sophia. Hi, I'm Wee. Hi, I'm Guy. Hi, I am Rachel. Welcome to Dallas Love Field. We're gonna take you on an adventure to tour some of our public art pieces. Come on, follow me. First stop is In Flight by Paul Marioni. Wow, this artwork is 10 feet wide, 84 feet long, and is made of terrazzo flooring that uses 100% recycled glass. It depicts four species of birds that can be seen in Texas. Can you name some of the birds? Now let's head over to an untitled piece by Lane Banks. This is made of terrazzo and is 70 feet long and 9 feet wide. The work consists of a series of eight concentric rectangles constructed from four colors in varying configurations. It creates the visual effects of a geometric progression and is based on the analysis of geometric forms. Let's move on. Hmm, I wonder where we is. Here I am. Hey, check this out. I'm standing under Flying Dreams by Simon Donovan and Ben Olmsted. These three life-size figures are flying with turning propellers held between their teeth. They're suspended in front of a photo mural of similar figures flying in a Texas sunset. So cool. Dreams of having the innate bird-like ability to fly are common in all cultures. Here, we became airplanes. The work will reinforce the modernization project's distinctive contemporary identity for the airport both during the day and at night. I cannot wait to see what's up next. Giddy Up by Stephen T. Johnson is a series of 33 prints on glass showing a heart symbolizing love field from which a pegasus emerges and ascends to flight above the Lone Star of Texas. Let us check in with Guy to see what he is up to. Hello everyone, I'm standing here at the Spirit of Flight by Charles Umla. A bronze statue of a man, his arms are raised up with wings behind him. His head is tilted towards the sky and it symbolizes his victory over the flight. 
The bird statues in the fight below the statue of a man. The statue and birds were gifted by the family of Mr. and Mrs. Leo F. Corrigan and are located at the Spirit of Flight Art Plaza. Next stop, Vector Field by Jason Bouge Studio. This 382 foot long electric canopy has a hundred LED rings that creates movement as the pedestrians pass below each piece. Oh, we may have froze up. And we're almost done. Um, so that's pretty much it. We are focusing on a couple other projects, but we really wanted to get something out there for the kids. Uh, this is actually playing in our little, little love lounge, which is our kids play area inside security. So to reinforce the art, um, well, also and entertain a little bit too. Thank you. Thank you so much, Guy.